السلام عليكم ورحمة الله. We will continue talking about iron deficiency anemia. Today we will talk about investigation of the iron deficiency anemia. We need first to prove this iron deficiency anemia and this uh, doing investigation for the cause. The first thing to prove this iron deficiency anemia is doing CBC. CBC is very easy. CBC. What you find in the CBC? Uh, you find three things very important is low. Is the RBCs, RBCs count. RBCs count. So okay, RBCs count is low, and hemoglobin concentration low. So okay, and the hematocrit, hematocrit value, this BCV, hematocrit value low. So okay, and also uh, this microcytic hypochromic, uh, microcytic hypochromic. So the MCV, MCV uh, low, and also also the MCHC is low. This mean corpuscular hemoglobin concentration and mean corpuscular volume is low. So all all this indicator is low. So okay, this in the CBC. And also what you find in the uh, white blood cells. I think white blood cells may be normal in the iron deficiency anemia is normal, but maybe has xenophilia, xenophilia uh, in the ankylostoma. In the in parasite infestation, parasite, if the parasite is caused iron deficiency anemia, we can find xenophilia. About the platelet, uh, the platelet I think is normal, but normal in the normal in the iron deficiency anemia. So the first thing is, and CBC very very important. You will find uh, MCV low and MCHC low and hemoglobin low and red cell count low and hematocrit value is low. So the first thing and the most common and the most easy thing is CBC. Another thing, uh, but not common, not common doing in the uh, iron deficiency anemia is bone marrow examination. Bone marrow examination. What you find in the uh, bone marrow? So, okay, uh, is uh, is decrease the iron store? Decrease the iron store in the bone marrow. You will find decrease the iron stores in the bone marrow. Decrease the iron stores in marrow, and you will find the bone marrow is active to do to uh, synthesis of the erythrocyte. So, you will find erythrocyte hyperplasia. Erythro, you will find uh, erythro, erythroid hyperplasia. Erythroid, erythroid. Hyper Belizia. So, okay, you will find the throat hyper Belizia to replace the defect or deficiency. So, we will find decrease in iron stores and we will find the throat hyper Belizia. This bone marrow examination, but not common doing in the iron deficiency anemia. Another thing is doing is uh, iron profile. Very, very, very important iron profile. What you are doing in the iron profile? Very, very important. Uh, first thing is serum. First thing is serum iron. Serum iron is low. Serum iron is low. And another thing is serum ferritin. So also is low. So okay, iron and ferritin and transferrin saturation. Transferrin saturation low. If all this, all this indicator is low, serum iron, serum ferritin, and transferrin saturation is this three is low. Serum iron, serum ferritin, and transferrin saturation. But the total iron binding capacity is the total iron binding capacity is high. Total iron binding capacity is high. Total iron binding capacity is high. To how to uh, for, uh, not forget this uh, total iron wine capacity, you remember as if you have mass, if you have mass, it's so, okay, and we have uh, seats, you have seats, this seats about 10 seats, it's so, okay, the number of passenger is 2 or 3, so all this are free, the, the free basis, the free basis is saturation, and also that's transferrin, 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 total iron bind capacity. This iron is low, total iron flow. This iron, the iron here, this is high. If the number of the iron uh, carry in the 
Transferrin is transferrin saturation. It's very low because iron low, so the trans number of the iron uh, carry in the transferrin is low. But the space, the free space, the free space in the transferrin is called transferrin saturation. So the free space, the free space not carry the iron is transfer uh, total iron binding capacity. This total iron binding capacity, total iron, total iron binding capacity. But this is transferrin saturation. If uh, a saturation, transferrin saturation, the uh, amount of the iron saturated the uh, transferrin is small because this uh, iron is low, so is low transferrin transfer saturation. But the space is free, is told total iron bind capacity. Total, total iron bind capacity is high. Total, and this comma on the question total iron bind capacity is high in the iron deficiency anyway. Another thing in the uh, you can find in some text is the uh, free. Resuscite brought porphin free F F F E B. What the F E B is free? Resuscite resuscite brought porphin. What resuscite brought porphin? What resuscite brought porphin? It's very easy. It's hemoglobin. You know hemoglobin is from him and Pro uh, him and the globin. So okay, and this him form from iron and protoporfin. Protoporfin. So here the iron is low. So okay. So this process not this this process not continue because this iron is low. And what happened? This protoborphin, free protoborphin in the inside RBCs is high. So you will find the FEB, so the free erythrocyte uh, protoborphin in the erythrocyte is high, is high, very, very important. You know, because this iron is low, so not, not connected with the protoborphin. So the free protoborphin is high. So you will find in the iron profile. Decrease in the serum iron, <coughs> decrease in the serum iron and serum ferritin and transferrin saturation, transferrin saturation, and a total iron binding capacity is high and if <coughs> FEB is free, erythrocyte protoporfin is high. Not forget this, very very important to a diagnosis of the iron deficiency anyway. So now we prove this is uh, proved by CBC and iron profile this uh, iron deficiency anyway. Second thing we need to uh, reach the cause. What's the cause of this iron deficiency anemia? Maybe loss of the blood. Very, very important. We told you before the most common type is loss uh, blood from the GIT. So the first time, first thing we will think is stool. Stool analysis, stool analysis or stool examination. What you find is the stool. Very, very important doing something called occult blood. Occult blood in the stool. Occult blood in the stool. Very, very common in the occult blood in the stool. In your practice, you'll find occult blood. Once the occult blood, you uh, search about the hidden, hidden blood you in the stool. You can see in the by the eye. So we we'll search about a hidden, uh, hidden blood in the stool. So it's occult blood. But this occult blood uh, not accurate. Maybe something is false, false positive, false positive. Uh, so, uh, يعني just in the, just only for diagnosis, not fully sure, but maybe false diagnosis. And some precautions, some precautions we need to doing uh, before this test. Some precautions you have to know in your practice, help you in practice. Uh, before the test in three days, not take any iron, it's okay, and not take any uh, some drugs as non steroidal or cortisone, and avoid take any meat because meat rich in the iron can give a uh, uh, wrong, uh, wrong uh, result, it's okay, and also avoid to brush your mouth three days before the test, and maybe some bleeding from the mouth brush going to uh, the, uh, the stool. So it's not accurate test, but يعني we are doing for for the investigation is occult blood search for the blood hidden blood in the stool very very important and maybe something sometimes is false positive so take precautions before the test is occult blood another thing in the stool we are search is over over for any parasite in other words as ankylostoma very very common is over of ankylostoma is a uh, one of the parasite very very important which cause iron deficiency anyway so the first thing is stool we search for over and occult blood another thing is uh, very very important is GIT GIT hemorrhage GIT as we told before is esophagus 
and stomach and small intestine. So okay, طب what what we are doing for this investigation? For uh, in the esophagus we need upper upper esophagus upper and lower esophagus and for the uh, colon we use colonoscopy colonoscopy. So okay, and this upper and lower endoscopy. Our and lower endoscopy so and gastric to my uh, gast gast denotomy uh gast gastric scope or denoscope so okay and also barium 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 swallow and barium meal also barium swallow barium but no barium swallow and barium meal means me not accurate than uh, this uh, endoscopy endoscopy better upper and lower endoscopy and the colonoscopy and uh, gastroscopy and denoscopy all this for search the cause of this uh, hemorrhage maybe cancer maybe viruses maybe uh, colonoscopy any, anything in the uh, in the core so this uh, endoscopies endoscopies and colonoscopy and the is well very very important it's okay uh, and uh, as we told before as you told before we have search about angio displacement one of the uh, causes of the uh, angio displacement one of the causes uh, of the iron deficiency anemia may be common in the old age, may be common in the old age. As we told, in angio, angio dysplasia is, we told, angio is blood vessels, is vessels, and dysplasia is uh, abnormality, abnormal. So abnormal uh, vessels, is a mal uh, vessel malformation. So vessel with fragile and dilated and easy bleed. So okay, and common in the old age, but can common in any time, any age. So how to diagnose this? And this is, as we told, it may cause slow bleeding for long time, or maybe rapid and severe bleeding. So uh, for diagnosis of this and this is or any hemorrhage, uh, we have two types. We have two types. We need two types. If you if you have you have two types in maybe and you and geography. So okay or radioactive radioactive bleeding scan. What's the difference between this? You have to know this in your practice and also maybe in equation with this. And what's the difference of the uh, radioisotope or radioactive bleeding scan or radioisotope? Uh, bleeding scan or angiography. If the if your uh, if your bleeding is severe bleeding and rapid bleeding, you uh, use angiography in the rapid, rapid and severe bleeding. So okay, rapid and severe bleeding we can use angiography. Angio angio is uh, uh, angio is uh, isotope material or radioactive material will give angiography. Angiography is vessel for. The, the, uh, and this graphy, graphy, graphic of the vessel. So okay. So what we have in? We uh, inject radioactive material. We inject. We inject the patient radioactive substance. So okay. Radioactive substance. Our radio opaque. Radio opaque substance. So okay. And uh, we take picture with X-ray. Normal X-ray. It will showing the vessels. Will take vessels will take this already uh, already big substance. So the leaking vessels, leaking vessels, we can count showing leaking vessels, uh, leaking vessels which leak the blood. So we are detect where the leaking vessels. So it's called angiography. We uh, angio is vessel, angio is vessels. We graphic give graphic to the vessel and take photo of the vessels to detect the leaking vessels. This angiography is used in the large. And severe bleeding, we can use uh, this angiography. In the radioactive or radioisotope bleeding scan, use in the small, small, uh, not severe or very slow, very slow, uh, very slow bleeding. Maybe oozing or maybe small, uh, small bleeding. So okay, or very small or very slow uh, bleeding, not severe bleeding. What we are take? We will take. Some blood, we are taking some blood from the patient, we can be patient, and this uh, also this blood, uh, this blood, and we can add it uh, radioactive, radioactive substance, or radioactive substance in the blood of the patient, the blood of the patient. So we have now RBCs, radioactive RBCs, we have now radioactive RBCs, and then take this radioactive RBCs, this take another, we are taking again this RBCs, radioactive, by radioactive RBCs, and inject. Again, in the and the inject again of the in the blood in the blood of the patient, and we can detect 
where the leaking uh, where can detect the leaking in the uh, body of the patient we can detect the leaking of the patient and this uh, uh, يعني, uh, we can take photo with gamma gamma x-ray gamma x-ray and it's not uh, no, no need to do uh, no need to know the details but and you have to know this angiography can detect the bleeding in the rapid and large bleeding but have a small bleeding not coma not severe bleeding slow and uh, very uh, small bleeding we can detect with radio active or radio isotope bleeding scan radioactive bleeding scan we take blood from the patient and added radioactive substance and and again inject this radioactive RBCs to the body and can detect where the leaking or where the bleeding from the body so okay and now you finish to know how to know GIT bleeding by uh, upper and lower endoscopy and the colonoscopy and the endoscopy uh, and barium swallow and angiography or uh, radioactive or radioisotope scan. Another thing about maybe this, maybe the patient has bleeding tendency or bleeding disease as hemophilia. If I so detect to investigate for bleeding bleeding tendency tendency. What's the test you are doing for bleeding tendency? We're doing uh, uh, bleeding time, bleeding time, bleeding time, clotting time. So okay, the PT, PT, so time and the AB. TT, all this we can search for the cause of this uh, bleeding disorders or as 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 hemophilia disease. It's okay. And another thing, maybe the patient has malabsorption syndrome. Malabsorption. It's okay. We will talk details of malabsorption in the GIT, but the most common test used in the in the malabsorption is urinary urinary dextrose test. Urinary dextrose test. Urinary dextrose test. It's very important in the malabsorption. We are taking details in GIT, but the, you remember the name of the test is urinary dextrose test. Another thing is uh, in, uh, <coughs> gastric function test. Gastric, gastric function test. What's the gastric function test? You have to know. Uh, you remember one of the causes of this iron deficiency anemia we told before is acrohydra is decrease in HCL, you know, HCL from the parietal cells. We have to know detect how uh, detect uh, is HCL is low. So it's this called pentagastrin, pentagastrin stimulation test. Pentagastrin stimulation test. What's this? How to do in this pentagastrin stimulation test to detect to detect is achlorhydra. First thing you have uh, this stomach, the stomach, it's okay, and you have parietal cells. First thing we are collect, we are collect by the tube, we are collecting normal uh, the HCL from the patient. Collect the first thing in the HCL from the patient. We can measure this HCL in from the patient, collect this sample from the patient by the tube. And another thing we can inject, then inject and give pentagastrin. Pentagastrin. What doing this pentagastrin? In normal patient, in normal patient, this pentagastrin will stimulate the parietal cells to do the create HCL. So normally, normally if the pentagastrin is given, this HCL is well high. But in this patient, it has acrohydra, so this atrophy of the as a gastric atrophy or atrophy of this parietal. Cells, so there is no would not, not secrete HCL. So we we'll measure again HCL. There is no no increase, no increase in HCL. But if the patient is normal, will increase HCL. So we uh, this pentagastrin stimulation test to diagnosis of the cause as acrohydra. Again, we can repeat what took today was the investigation of deficiency anemia. First thing, the investigation to detect the iron deficiency anemia. We are doing CBC and maybe one more examination, so, and the iron profile. Another thing, to take the cause, maybe acrohydra, this as this thing, we're doing pentagastrin stimulation test, maybe malabsorption, uh, we are doing uh, urinary, uh, urinary dextrose test, yes, and uh, maybe a uh, stool, stool examination, very, very important to detect over and the occult blood, and very important is GIT, bleeding and hemorrhage, maybe endoscopy, barium swallow, colonoscopy, so okay, and not forget the angiography or radio uh, isotope uh, bleeding scan. So okay, I think this all investigation of the iron deficiency anemia, and you can find any one of this in the multiple choice or in the scenario uh, for uh, blood disease.
Thank you very much.